Welcome to Healthy G Moms. Ooh, ooh. Welcome to Healthy G Moms. Uh -huh. Welcome around the world. Welcome to my world. Welcome to Healthy G Moms. Uh -huh. Welcome, you guys. Welcome back to my world. Today is going to be part two of our educational journey. So I did a video not too long ago about beetroots, and now I'm going to be talking to you about sea moss. Yes, indeed. But this sea moss is going to have to be also part two because it's a two part to it. All right. And when I say two parts, you have to start a process sort of like my almond uh, milk. When you do almond milk, Mm -hmm. you have to um, let it soak all right and you soak when I say let it soak you let it soak for 24 hours that means overnight and I'm coming to you guys from Los Angeles California and right now currently we are almost like 10 minutes to 4 o'clock mm -hmm. 4 p.m. yes indeed right and so mm -hmm. um, that means I have to wait until tomorrow evening around for something to do um, the other part to the video which will be Saturday I mean Sunday because today's uh, right now it's Saturday right so I want to show you but before I show you um, information regarding sea moss I have to always disclose that mm -hmm, I am NOT a doctor no no I am NOT a nurse I am simply a person that's fighting for her life and I have come a long way. Yes, indeed. I was in the hospital for almost eight months. I've been out and I've been on a healthy journey. Ever since then, I'm walking and talking. I couldn't even walk or talk. Mm -hmm. Bedridden. Yes, I was. Not many faculties, drugged up, all of that. But I'm not like that anymore. I am um, oxygen, not oxygen free 100%. But if you notice, I have some lines sometimes on my face because I have... I practice daily throughout the day without having oxygen because I'm trying not to be 100% dependent and on the oxygen. I still need it, but God is good because I used to have it 24-7, along with nurses 24-7, a long-term facility, and a long-term facility 24-7. So, mm -hmm. one day at a time, yes indeed. So let's get to the sea moss, right? So, I have purchased some sea moss bags, and you'll see it's called uh, the Caribbean Sea Moss from Granada, right? And it's you know it's G R E N A D A. Um, you would say Granada is is sounds like it's spelled Granada, not Granada, Granadi, right? And so I have the Caribbean Sea Moss. And then two bags, and then I have another Caribbean Caribbean green sea moss. Now, now where is the Caribbeans, right? So the Caribbeans, let's, before we show, I'm gonna show you a map where exactly it is on my desktop. All right, excuse me, caution. Mm -hmm. Rockstar at work. Yes, indeed. Ha! So sea moss. All right, let's go over here. So sea moss, if you can see that, sea moss is commonly referred to Irish moss in the Caribbeans is one of the most powerful superfoods in the ocean. Apart from its powerful anti-inflammatory effects, this red algae is packed with proteins, fiber, selenium, iodine, potassium, magnesium, calcium, and phosphorus, and zinc. Right? So, you know, it, all of that and it takes me back to sea moss. It says, please believe the hype. Please, excuse me, please believe the hype is not, please believe it's not just a hype because it's telling us that's what? Irish moss contains 92 of the 102 minerals and vitamins that the human body consists of. You see that? That it consists of 102, but we got 92. So that's just what? What does that mean? Do your math. 102 minus what? 92. So that's only missing like two 
two, just two of the mint, ten, I mean, excuse me, 10. It's missing 10 out of that. It gives you 10. So it tells you, did you know that the sea moss contains 92 out of 102 minerals, vitamins, right? That consist of, that our body consists of. These minerals include the zinc, iodines, calcium, and I just said it, on and on, iris, okay? Now, equally as important to that, it tells you about the mentions about the sea moss is packed with potassium and our bodies can't function without it, right? Without uh, calcium, excuse me, without the potassium. And if you have potassium deficiency, you may experience muscle weakness, cramps and fatigue, constipation and abnormal heartbeats, right? So just think of that, you know, that's one important thing that you need to know. It has 92 vitamins. Normally what vitamin C has, what? Vitamin C, I mean, excuse me, an orange and lemon has the vitamin C, right? But that's, look at that, that has 92. Now let's keep going. I'm gonna show you also about the sea moss. It tells you um, that um, it's, you know, it helps get rid of, it helps get rid of excess mucus, right? Which is great. So it helps get rid of excess mucus. It is good for thyroid support. It is digestive health, mood enhancement, and it support the reproduction um, health. So sea moss really increases a sexual health, and it helps with health weight management, and is packed with essential nutrients. It supports the healthy iron levels, your joints. It may aid recovery after surgery. It supports your overall health, right? So. Where does this beautiful uh, plant, not plant, from the water, it's, um, where does Irish sea moss come from? So this is a map of Grenada, Grenada, right? Now I would say Grenada, but it's nada, like nada, nada, don't menace, because that is a Latin name for it, right? So Grenada is in the Caribbean, the Caribbean Sea, right? If you can see my mouse here. Now the, Car the Grenada is consists of two different islands. Right, if you see the Grenadian, Grenadians right here, it'll be over here in the Caracu and the Grenada, which is by Greenville a Marquise, right? Now, um, equally as important, you gotta know that it, wh where did, what happens? What is going on and where are the, who are these people? The Grenadian, they are like a Creole French. So just think of, where are Creoles here in, in um, United States? Louisiana, remember? So if you take it back to the history days, the French, yes indeed, they conquered and they took over the islands, one of the islands, that Grenadian, Grenada Islands, they took over it. And um, so, yeah, so now you got, and that was in what year was that? That was the history. First successful settlements by a Western colonial power was in Grenada in the 1650s when the French from Martinique established friendly contact with the natives. Friendly contact? Okay, we won't get all into that. But anyways, they owned the property. Of, they took over. So the French... But equally as important to this, the French, uh, they had started ruling, the French had ruling power, but quickly the British Empire took control. And so when people say Creole, that means that basically like what I am, I, I'm, I'm a mutt. Although I am African American, I love my black people. I love my black characters. I am black. But if you see the green eyes, you see the color of my hair, you see the color of my skin, I'm mixed. I, but you know, society only recognizes you as black. And again, I'm okay with that. But I have Irish, I have French, I have black, and I have Indian, American Indian. Yes, indeed, all of that. So with my French part, my parents are from Mobile, Alabama, you know, where the original Mardi Gras was, and the New Orleans men, there were Creoles. And Creoles were lighter skinned people. My dad is was um, black and Indian, right? So bottom line is 
one drop of black African, you're black. So, right, I digress. Let's continue on with the Creoles, just trying to give you a, um, a better information on what Creole means. And so that's Granada, Crinian, uh, Granada is the sea moss and I mean where the sea moss is from and they have the inhabitants that just live there are Creole, right? Speaking different languages, but they do speak English, right? English is one of their main languages that they speak, but Creole, French, so bonjour, comment allez-vous? And I will respond by saying ça va bien et toi? And all I just said, hello, how are you today? Bonjour. And, and I responded by saying, I'm fine, and you? Bonjour, comment allez-vous? Ça va bien et toi? Just showing you my French part of it. But let's get down to the bags, right? So Canadian sea moss have, is in the ocean, right? From the Caribbean. So this package, these two packages were shipped all the way from the Caribbean. And um, let me show you what it looks inside, right? Look like inside. And we're gonna take this over to our bowl here because again, we have to do a two process, right? And uh, before we show the bowl, I started with the bowl. I have a bowl. I, I try not to do a lot of plastic because plastic is not good for our food these days. It seeps into our food, it, that BPA, it's, it's bad for us. So I have like steel and aluminum, which is, you know, and I put some water in it. But after I finish with the package, after it sits overnight, so 24 hours, I'm gonna let these, the sea moss sit in this particular bowl with this lid, right? So I'll put it on here. Um, but before, but once I do that process, see this is a mason ball. It's a ball, it's a mason jar. So if you can get a little closer, it's a mason uh, jar that it shows you like two cups, four cups, six cups, eight cups, right? And so I'll let it, once I clean it, sit it in here, let it sit and it cleans, I'm gonna transfer it to my smaller um, jars after it sits in here. So original tap water, and then once I clean it, I will sit it in what I have is cold, um, good um, water. So this is from the faucet. This is not, this is uh, water that I got, um, fresh, clean water. So let's see what, I'm gonna show you the difference in the, the sea moss, right? And so we supposed to measure out, um, so this is a four ounce bag, and I want what you can uh, take, because the sea moss, what it does is it, exp it expands. So let's see here. So that's about one ounce. If you can see, that's green. So I'll sit it in here and then we'll go. That's the green sea moss, right? I don't have a measuring, I don't have money to buy. I haven't, I don't have a measuring cup. So I, I mean, I have measuring cups, but I don't have a measure thing. So let's go here and we'll go. So that was green sea moss. And so now we'll go in the bag and we will get, um, so we'll get, now this is the red. I don't know if you can see those colors really. Good. if we get a little closer so that's red and that's green and so we'll sit it in there and let's see a little bit more so this what happens when you take sea moss right it expands right it will expand and I'm supposed to um, there we go that's that's green now you can tell that's green put that next to the red you see green all right yeah, really, really, really important, right? And now let's see if we can see inside, okay? Um, and so what? basically what you do, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna go in here and I'm going to clean it, right? You clean, what you're looking for is like dirt. You wanna take off dirt and you wanna take off the salt, right? All right, because when we go here, you basically, I'm just gonna be cleaning it and this bowl, and then once I get out, I like to say, look at that, that's a little particle, you see this? If I can get a little closer, that's still from the vine, that's right here. 
So that's a little dirty, right? So we'll, we'll keep playing with it. So basically, that's the first part of my video. And then I will transfer it here and let it sit overnight for 24 hours after I finish cleaning the Irish uh, sea moss. And I will let you guys see the part two where I'm gonna turn it into gel. And I'm gonna take it to the next level of not just making, I'm, I'm gonna take it to the next level of not just making um, sea moss, right? I'm gonna make, uh-huh, I'm gonna make sea moss with um, sea moss that has, um, what am I gonna put in? Oh, pineapple, mm -hmm. pineapple and a mango, right? My necklace came off, so I apologize, guys. <laughs> It didn't fill off because I was doing too much. But anyways, we'll keep rolling and rolling. Yeah, so you know me. I'm always trying to do extra stuff. And um, so uh, a good friend of mine, my buddy, that don't want to be on video, she's the one that, her name is Yvette, but she doesn't want to be on it. So she's the one that helped me go on my shopping, free, uh, shopping uh, of trying to find the sour sop, right? My buddy. And so what she did, also, she made me, some sea moss. So my son makes sea moss, Donovan, but he plays, you know, shout out to Donovan and shout out to Yvette. Shout out to Donovan because he just introduced me to, to plain sea moss, right? Oh my God, but I can't stand, I, I'm not a big fan of sea moss plain, right? Now, I know that everything that's good for you don't always taste good, right? I'm, I'm familiar with that. But Yvette, her French name, Vet, mm -hmm. Y, E, you know, it's a Y V. Mm -hmm. She introduced me to sea moss. Mm -hmm. She put pineapples in hers. Yes, indeed. She put pineapples. So me, I like that. So I'm gonna take it to the next level. I'm gonna make pineapple, and I think I'm gonna mix the mango, maybe with a twist of lime. We'll see how I feel tomorrow. You know. But we'll start with least pineapple because I like the pineapple taste. Yes, indeed. I kept wanting to eat it. I thought it was like, you know, applesauce, pineapple applesauce. Mm -hmm. But it's not because remember, when you start eating sea moss, you're only supposed to take two spoons. Right? So I'm going to do two spoons a day. Yes, indeed. You're not supposed to do more than that. Uh, two, I think it's not teaspoons, two tablespoons. So that a teaspoon is small, right? But a tablespoon is bigger. So Daily, every day, I'm going to eat sea moss because I'm trying to get those 92 vitamins and minerals mm -hmm, into my body in addition to doing everything else that I'm doing. So I'm introducing you guys and letting you see that you can do this stuff at home. I'm doing it at home. So uh, you see, I got the bags, which they're quite expensive. Now, this one bag, you know, I don't know. Every place could be different. Online, I'm told by my buddy Yvette, she said, oh girl, honey, that stuff is expensive. You know, other places be, you know, way more much of that. And they had some stuff already made, uh, like a little jar, I think four ounces or something, was like 30 bucks. Mm, no, didn't want to do that. So, you know, I'm in, just like I make my ginger shots, my almond milk, uh, you know, I make my own salads, I make my food, and I like to see what I'm putting in my food, right? So I'm thinking of this sea moss as the same thing. I'm gonna make my own sea moss at home, and I think I'm gonna start with, not the plain, mm -mm. I'm gonna take it to the next level, yes indeed, I'm gonna take it to the next level, and I'm gonna do um, pineapples, cause I enjoy pineapples. In addition, I'm gonna add some mango. Mm -hmm. Mango and maybe a twist of lemon to it. I got plenty of limes and I got some lemons. So, and remember, we talked about lemons that I put into my beet juice, so I made beet juice earlier today on our educational journey. Mm -hmm. Uh, and how it preserves now because um, I'm told that this can last for like a whole month yes indeed as long as you get refrigerated because it will perish right but in my bags as long as I keep it dry if it's dry I let's seal it back up and I think I'm gonna put mine in the cabinet so they, it's supposed to stay in a dry place as long as it's not moist you don't want it to be wet once it get wet you it is it starts molding right so but once you make it once I do this process of putting it into gel we're going to turn it into the gel form and you have to refrigerate it because it will spoil 
Now, I don't know about freezing it. Maybe people do freeze it, but I don't know. I'll probably go through it in um, a month because I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna start with this process and I'm gonna transfer it, the some many of them, to jars, right? Um, it's already expanding, right? Look at that. I just put like two, three hand spools, right? In there, and if you can see, it's already expanded. So it's seaweed, right? Uh, sea moss is seaweed, right? That's what I'm learning. You know, Irish, not really sure why it's called Irish moss, but again, maybe it's just, you know, maybe from the invaders. I don't know, really, really. I'll find out more about it. I'll Google it, or you can Google it. But as of right now, we know we got a Creole, a Grenadian Creole type of um, Caribbean sea moss. So it's in the Caribbeans, the, the Caribbeans, where Grenada is. And um, sea moss with the 92 minerals, you can't go wrong. Your body's already made of it. It's just helping. And if you lost any cells, like I've lost cells, or if you want to keep getting healthy and, you know, stay on a healthy path of life, you can't go wrong. So I would suggest you try this too. You can do it if I can do it. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. <laughs> All right.